your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hi everybody, welcome back. Well, you know you're in a drought when it's supposed to rain, and it does, but it just doesn't rain very much, even though that was expected. And as far as the Doppler radar goes, there were lots of showers on there 12 hours ago out to the west, and even some thunder out uh, around Freer and westward from there, and down around Hebronville too. But uh, most of us were left uh, high and dry from the rain with just a few hundredths of an inch. That was about it. Take a look at the rainfall today. And again, you can see where they picked up two thirds of an inch of rain down in Hebronville. It was nice rain out here southwest of Choke Canyon right there, all the way back uh, to the west there towards I-35. A hundredth of an inch of rain officially from here to Ingleside and over to the Naval Air Station. So I only had a trace. You probably didn't have much more than that if you were lucky as far as the rainfall goes across the region. And even though there's more coming, it's going to be awfully light and it really isn't going to amount to very much. So if you're expecting a lot, as I mentioned last night, you'll be disappointed. 69 and 77 on the low and the high today. And there's our hundredth of an inch of rain with the rainfall deficit that continues to grow. And the temperature forecast on our hour by hour here, you don't see any rain icons up here. That's because of the uh, diminutive uh, value of the rain that we're going to receive. In other words, it's going to be light to nothing. And uh, then we'll see temperatures dropping into the upper 50s by morning. This will be nice. It'll be a little bit on the cool side before that ends. And then I think upper 60s to near 70 for the high tomorrow because of persistent east northeasterly winds and cloudy skies. It could be a hint of sunshine with that just like there is right now, but uh, not much. 74 north northeast winds at 26. They gusted to 40 earlier today and uh, temperatures are all in the 70s across the region from uh, coast to inland and north to south across the coastal bend. And again, that hour by hour forecast uh, keeps us on the cool side. There is uh, one rain icon right there about noon tomorrow, but again, it'll be very light. You can see the moisture parade coming in from the southwest and the Pacific, but that is going to gradually end uh, during the course of the day tomorrow and tomorrow night as southerly winds take over the region. Very heavy rain down in the valley earlier today and down around Brownsville and South Padre Island. There's one little disturbance right here in Mexico that will move across tonight, but it will weaken as it approaches the coast because of the dry air in place. Take a look. And again, you can see there's a few light showers coming through and then cooler during the day tomorrow too with the clouds and again, temperatures near 70. Then uh, we'll see the return flow come in on Thursday morning as the front that went through this morning backs up as a warm front that may deliver a sprinkle or two on Thursday, but overall it's going to be windy and warmer here. Here's a close up view of that. And again, you don't see a lot of rain. There are a few showers coming in from the west here uh, overnight and in the morning, but that is about it. And I think because of the nature and the fast speed of them, they won't amount to uh, more than a few hundredths of an inch, certainly not drought busters. And then here's that moisture coming in from the south. And again, you can just see a brief spring sprinkle here on Thursday. So rainfall amounts again, they're going to add up to a few hundredths of an inch uh, in the places that are lucky enough to see rainfall, uh, but not very much. And that'll be uh, here's the uh, rainfall opportunity, which is few to isolated for tomorrow. And uh, then for Thursday, there'll be few to isolated as well uh, across the region. All right, let's take a look at the seven day forecast. Here it is. 58 tonight, 69 tomorrow, a few light showers. I wish there was more. 65 and 80, mostly cloudy, windy on Thursday. 71 and 85 Friday. And again, there could be a sprinkle here, but it's hardly worth mentioning. And uh, then we're up to 89, the sunniest of the next seven days, but still mixed with clouds on Sunday and holding in the 80s with wind Monday and Tuesday of next week.